Hi everybody, Happy New Year and welcome to Narex channel. Today I will explain how to use an AT24E Pro memory like this one. We can find it at AliExpress or eBay. It's low cost and easy to find. And the e is a little bit different from the NOR flash memory we already explained how to use here. When using the NOR flash, you need to erase and write a whole block by time. And the e memory can write a single byte and read it. Normally, the e memory is used to store permanent data like configuration parameters. So let's get started. Open the Linux terminal. Enter inside Nurex space, Nurex, execute make this clean to clear previous configuration. Now we need to double check if our board has support to 8024E Pro memory ls configs stm32f103 minimal src stm32a24.c okay it supports the 8024e pro memory so we can execute the configuration tools configure stm32f103 minimal slash nsh now we can run make menu config to select the option to enable the 8024 memory we need to enable i squared c1 so go to system type peripheral support and enable the i squared c1 we can exit exit again go to device drivers enable i squared c driver support now go to memory technology device select it and press enter to enter inside it now we need to enable the 8024e pro the memory I am using has only 32 kilo, kilobits. So I enable it, exit, exit again. Now go to file systems, enable the NX flash file system here. Now we can exit and go to board selection enable the 8024 serial EEPROM auto mount we need to change the EEPROM configuration to use the NX flash file system now we can exit exit again and finally exit and save execute make to compile the source code Okay, the source code was compiled. Now I just need to flash the firmware inside the board. Execute open OCD. If you don't know how to do that, please watch this video explaining. And press enter. Okay, the firmware was flashed correctly. Now I will explain how to connect the memory in the board. So, let's get started. First, we need to connect the VCC to 3.3 volts. Then, we connect the GND to GPIN. Next, 
we connect the S clock or SCL to B6. Okay, to B6. And finally, we connect the serial data or SDA to B7. Also, we need to connect the USB serial. OK, the memory model was connected to the board. Now we can run Minicon to see if the AT24 was detected. Minicon, reset the board. Let's see if the EEPRO memory was mounted. LS slash. OK, it was mounted at MNT. Let's see what is inside MNT. OK, AT24. Now we can use it to save configuration data. For example, echo hostname. Blue pill inside MNT eighty twenty four host dot config. Okay, let's see if the file was created LS MNT eighty twenty four. Okay. The file is there. We can now see what is inside this file. Cat mnt at24 host.config. If I turn off the board and connect it again, this file will persist. So I will unplug the board and will plug it again. Let's see what is inside MNT8024. Okay, our file is still there. So basically that is it. I hope you had enjoyed this video. If you are not subscribed to Nerd's channel yet, please subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.